In the last decade, authorities say they have recorded more than 22,000 cases of sex trafficking. The numbers come from the National Trafficking Hotline. The majority of victims, 87 percent, are under the age of 25. It is National Human Trafficking Awareness Month, but this is a problem happening every day all across Tennessee. And we can make a difference by paying attention to people in our communities. Identifying trafficking victims is tricky, but not impossible. And 10 News reporter Shannon Smith joins us with more on the reality of trafficking in our area. Shannon. John, Robin, the image of someone following you through the grocery store and kidnapping you in the parking lot is how a lot of us picture the start of human trafficking, but it's a lot more subtle than that, but noticeable if you know what to look for. Human trafficking is constant. According to law enforcement, a child is bought and sold for sex every two minutes in the United States. That means it's happening every day in Tennessee. Oftentimes they're blending in. They're living right next to us. They're working next to us. Natalie Ivey with the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking says there are a lot of misconceptions about what trafficking looks like. A lurking monster, scary character who's in the background who's going to snatch and grab your children or you. She said there are bad people out there, but that's not how trafficking works. The likelihood that that is trafficking is slim to none. Ivy said most victims know their traffickers and the most common type in Tennessee is familial trafficking, which means a family member is a trafficker. Uh, it is not uncommon for us to see mom as a trafficker. That can make it hard to realize a child is a victim. You have to be kind of um, critically paying attention to the way folks are interacting with each other. Here are some signs to look for. Deferring to that trafficker in the conversation, not making eye contact with the general public, looking to the trafficker before she answers a question, making, you know, her, her speech might be very scripted. If a person doesn't have control of their ID or money, is dressed provocatively or always wearing the same outfit or has a prepaid cell phone. Those are all signs they may be a victim. The idea that a mom next door could be trafficking their kid is much, much more difficult for people to talk about than this idea of a uh, premise of a Liam Neeson movie. Check in with the people in your life who you may think need help. And if you ever suspect someone's a trafficking victim, call the Tennessee Human Trafficking Hotline. That number is right here on your screen. Robin, John. Stunning number, Shannon. Thank you. You can find our Selling Girls series right now in the 10 News app. It explains how sex trafficking typically happens, how traffickers make money, also the stories of survivors. You can also find that series online right now in the TV section of the 10 News app. And again, it's not that bad. It's At New York's uh, Port Authority, two plainclothes officers, Sergeant Hector Martinez and Officer Jack Collins, tell me we are surrounded by pimps just out of sight who come here to stalk runaways. The pimps can spot them immediately. But you're in a kind of race against the pimps. Absolutely. They see, so your left hand side, as soon as they walk into Greyhound, they want to be pimps, recruiters. Now they this sit is, there, uh, they watch. What they do, the officers they try to intervene. A lot of the kids are from foster care. A lot have been sexually abused. And the predators know exactly what they hope to hear. They sell them on the idea of a warm place to stay for a night, uh, the possibility, potential for romance, uh, maybe earning some money. So these officers may be the last chance before a girl disappears into the shadows. We're back at New York's Port Authority where the predators are stalking. I see a girl alone, wonder if she's okay. So I'm looking at that girl over there. Hey, Give me a sec looks... if you want me to uh, go do my thing. Would it's your call. Sure, no problem. Yeah, why not? She looks... Hey, hey don't don't I'm sorry to bother you. You're not in there. trouble or anything like this. But. Oh, she's showing them ID right now. All right, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Take care. Probably buy ID within two blocks of here. Her ID says she is 19, older than she looks, and she says she has a job at the terminal. But for these two officers, a night has just begun. Last year, 69 runaways were pulled to safety. We normally cover anywhere between one to three runaways a week. And most of those would be trafficked if you hadn't intervened? Absolutely. Either they're about to be trafficked, they are being trafficked, or they're out here living the life.